side. What are we doing here? <laughs> <laughs> there is no help. Don't you know? <laughs> <laughs> so again, you get it. <laughs> <laughs> No, you got it, brother. I'm sorry. We're, we're, we're just laughing at the verse. It's funny. Oh, uh, yeah. I ain't gonna mind it. Like, you're, gonna, you're gonna go around the corner with him? Mm -hmm. Oh, man. He's like a he's like a beast. Yep. That's right. He's like a beast will tear up at any minute. Pull his gun out on you. Come, come. Hold on. I don't know if you finished reading the verse, though. Go ahead. Just real quick, I want to pull this. In terms of, um, I'm gonna pull it late, but travel not. With a bold fellow, I'll read it real quick. You don't have to get it. It's Proverbs 13 and 20. It says, Proverbs 13 and 20. He that walketh with wise men shall be wise, but a companion of fools shall be destroyed. So saying the same thing. Keep company with fools, you're going to get yourself in trouble. <laughs> Yeah, you don't care about you with an anger man. Tear you up just the same, like a wild bull. <clears throat> right, so it's, you, when you read when you read in this whole chapter, when you read this verse, it's just things he's coming out with from life experience. You know, this is just wisdom right there. If you know that a guy is has a temper, he's constantly angry, or whatever. You know, why would you why would you try and argue or strive with this guy all the time? It just doesn't make sense because you know it's going to lead to some kind of crazy confrontation. Something you're just going to have to avoid. And the, the second part is self-explanatory. You're not going to go, you know, you're not going to just be stupid and go off in some alley or some place where it's not a public place with this person, you know, because they can air, that's where they, they air you out right there, where there's no witnesses. With mm -hmm. certain people, you have to stay in a public area with them so that you know you'll be safe. They're not going to air you out in front of a whole crowd. Come, you know? come. Verse <clears throat> Ecclesiastes 8, verse 17. Consult not with a fool. Oh, did you finish 16? No, you didn't read the last part of 16. <laughs> for blood is as nothing in his sight. So, even in a solitary place for him to just kill you, you mean nothing to him. And where there is no help, he will overthrow thee. Right. So, in a solitary place, and he'll kill you as nothing, right? <laughs> so even Cain, even Cain took Abel, Abel in the field, right? Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's exactly what happened. Mm -hmm. That's exactly took what happened. In the field. When um, from the anger in the most I took him in the field. I said, like, all right, you give me righteous, I get. And take it in a solitary place and kill him slow. <laughs> okay, that works too, I guess. Oh, um, to to go with uh, that verse, this is Proverbs. Oops. Yeah. Proverbs twenty-two, and I'll read twenty-four, where it just reads. Twenty-two. Twenty-two and twenty-four reads: Make no friendship with an angry man, and with a furious man thou shalt not go. So, pretty straightforward. Twenty-two, verse twenty-four. Remember Cain, he's still walking the earth now. He's a so-called white man, he's still walking the earth. Don't bring it up, brother, unless you can go into it. No. Because people are listening to what you're saying. Yeah, that's why you're on camera so they can see me. I mean, if you can, you're good. <laughs> verse 17. Enthusiasticus 8, verse 17. Consult not with a fool, for he cannot keep counsel. For a person that's not wise, then you're not going to go with him for, you know, for knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Or to seek correct doctrines. He's not, he's not going to guide you. He's not going to guide you correctly. <clears throat> he's not going to give you good counsel. Let me say this quick fast. Just to add to that, it's, it's letting you know that 
who you go to, know who you're going to for what you're going to them for. You understand what I'm saying? You're not going to go to a guy that's been in one relationship for advice on women. You know, you know what I'm saying? You're not going to go to a guy that's broke out on the street for advice on how to handle your finances. You understand what I'm saying? That's why I says consult not with a fool because he cannot keep counsel. Know who you're going for, to for what. You're not going to just go up to any knucklehead on the street and ask them advice about the scriptures. You know, you're going to go to Nabiya or, or Samak or whoever because you know that they know the scriptures. Um, just real quick, this is Ecclesiastes chapter 37 and verse 7. I'm going to read on down. Ecclesiastes chapter 37 and verse 7. But it's just letting you know that, you know, you go, know who you're going to for what you're going to. You understand what I'm saying? If you want to know history, you're not just going to go to some knucklehead off the street and ask them about history. You know, they could feed you any crap, but if you know, go to somebody that's well versed in history. Just a few examples. So now this is Ecclesiastes chapter 37 and verse 7 in the Apocrypha. Ecclesiastes 37 and verse 7. Excuse me. So know who you're going to for what? It says, every counselor stole a counsel, right? So you have every counselor, meaning a person that's, that's there to give advice, that's what they're there for. They give advice. But there is some that counsel for himself. But some of them will give you bad advice because it will benefit them. You understand what I'm saying? So know who you're going to. If, if you know that it's a guy that's jealous of you having a relationship, don't go to him and ask him advice about your woman. <laughs> He'll be like, you know, get rid of that chick. <laughs> right. be with, you know, two weeks later, he's struck he to have a tree with your chick. Because he go. gave you that advice, you know, for himself. So you got to know who you're going to. It go, says, go. beware of a counselor and know, see, know before what need he had. So you know who you go to before you go. Mm -hmm. For he will counsel for himself, lest he cast the lot upon thee, and say unto thee, thy way is good. If you break up with this chick, it's all good. And afterwards, he stand on the other side to see what shall befall me. <laughs> now, you lonely, <laughs> the dumpster, man. he's strutting around with your ex-woman. You know? And then, <laughs> Uh, to go into the law, he already laid down with her, so you can't get her back. <laughs> it's good to tell you that. You know, you, you, the woman leave you, lay down with another man, you can't take her back. I can't, I can't know what he's doing, you know what I'm saying? So this is verse 7, I mean verse 10. It says, consult, so it's going further into knowing who you're going to ask advice about any particular thing. It says, consult not with one that suspected thee, and hide thy counsel from such as envy thee. Right? Because if a person envies you, they know what you're thinking, they can use it against you. It says, neither can so with a woman touching her of whom she is jealous. Mm -hmm. the scriptures tell you that there's nothing worse than a woman that's jealous over another woman. Mm -hmm. So what you're going to do it. Hey, you know Jane? So what do you think of Jane? Knowing damn well that she's jealous over Jane. You can't just go to anybody for anything. You mm -hmm. understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. if, I'm, if, I'm, if I need advice on raising kids, I'm not going to go to Nabiya, not knocking Nabiya, but he doesn't have kids. I'm going to go to Samak. Because Samak has, how much, yo, what's he up to now, like five? Because <laughs> <laughs> Samak has, like, you know, a bunch of kids. You know? Samak and the 70 soul, man. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's the, the middle part of verse 11. Neither with a coward in man. How are you going to get counsel from somebody that's a coward about war? How's that going to work, right? Nor with a merchant concerning exchange. <laughs> <laughs> Nor with a buyer of sons, why that their job is to buy. You're not going to ask them advice about how to sell something. That's that's not their position. What they know about, however, is on how to how to acquire things. Mm -hmm. Nor with an envious man of thankfulness. Nor with an unmerciful man touching. Are you going to ask somebody that's unmerciful how to be kind? And advice <laughs> on being kind and brotherly. How's that going to work? <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Oh, I know how it won't. Exactly right. <laughs> nor with an envy. I'm sorry. No. Uh, nor with the slothful man for any work. <laughs> How are you going to go to somebody that's lazy and say, look, <laughs> you just show me your techniques and your tactics on how you get work done. It's just not going to happen. So 2 p.m. I pick my feet up. Exactly. 3 p.m. I pick my nose. 4 p.m. I take another nap. Wake up around life. five, <laughs> and I scroll around for another hour, then six. <laughs> like, okay, you had to take a note. Yeah, right. <laughs> the scripture tell you, the scripture promise will tell you, Solomon went by the, 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 the vineyard of mm -hmm. the lazy guy. Mm -hmm. It was all jacked up. Right. Vines growing everywhere, messed mm -hmm. up, all is falling down. Because the guy's not doing any work. Right? right? Uh, <laughs> it says, no with an, uh, here it is, no with an idle servant of much business. Like you was told, guy kick his feet up, and 301, scratching his, you know, his back. <laughs> <laughs> and at four, his cat's watching TV. Then at five, like, when are you going to get the, you know, when are you going to get the business done, right? 
Hearken not unto these in any matter and counsel, but be continually with a godly man who thou knowest to keep the commandments of the Most High, whose mind is according to thy mind, and will sorrow with thee, thou shalt miscarry. So it's just saying, know who you asking about what you asking. Excellent. Yeah. You can see somebody single and talk to them if they have, uh, if you have kids. You can see somebody that's single. Yeah, as long as they have experience with kids, of course. There, there you go. There you go. I, like I mean, that's, that. yeah, that's, that's, that's what he said earlier. As we said, like not knocking me, but he would go to a man who's gotten hands on experience. I'm not going to go to a brother. Yeah, hundreds. Yeah. He had a hundred women, but no kids. Like, no, hundred kids in group home. I had everybody, everybody even, else's women, kids in group home. Even, yeah, even somebody like that you could ask about because mm -hmm. they have experience with kids. Mm -hmm. There you go. Yeah. But this yeah. dude, if this dude just don't got no kids, he, he ran through a hundred women, no kids. Mm -hmm. I could talk to him about how to be a whoremonger. He'd give me advice on that. <laughs> but come, come. I don't raise the kids. Come. So how do I become a slut? <laughs> <laughs> yes, Mr. Chamberlain, tell me. <laughs> <laughs> that was Ecclesiastes 37. 37 and 7. Down to 12. Excellent. It's fun watching you get scriptures from uh, Solomon. Say that again? It's fun watching you get scripture because you laugh at them all. <laughs> you, 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 when, I, when I mean that, it's like you have fun with it, and I like that. Kind of, kind of. I have fun. fun with scripture. Kind. It's just like comedy. The best comedy is when comedians tell the truth. Yeah. You know, it's like you're laughing because it's like, yeah, that's, that's real. That's, that's true. Yeah, I remember that black comedian, you know, like, I forgot his name. He said certain things like, yeah, thanks for following the yeah, you know. I forgot his name though. Is a black comedian? Marco Dass said, 100 women and no kids that he's not aware of. That's funny. LOL, SMH. Oh, okay. I see the, um, the silver thingy. That's me. Okay. Okay. Oh, it's like Quay 12. Gold is Jesus, I belong. Okay. Huh? No, that's not me. Someone who's uh, states away from us. Oh, well, that's New Jersey. Well, New York. Cool. It is. Oh, can I, are you okay up there? Yeah, yeah. <coughs> <laughs> Verse 18. Is it you, gentlemen? Is it you? Do no secret thing before a stranger, for thou knowest not what he will bring for it. <coughs> so. <laughs> Eric. Is this like. This cat got no. Because I'm. Need, well, wait, you, gotta, you didn't even break it down. You can't pick on him yet. You gotta break it down first. You, you're the orient the of the of this service. <laughs> All right. You know, sometimes you know, you would do things, you know, within you know, within your realm and within your family, certain things that you would do. So if you do things before a stranger Because you don't know what he's gonna bring he's gonna come out with it, you know? He's gonna bring it out or or if, you know, say that you said this or you said that or whatever. You know, certain things sometimes you, know, you would say when you know your family, your realm, you you would talk certain things. Even when like with even with, with, with the news people sometimes they they go to commercial and they will, you know, do certain you know, do certain things or say certain things but you don't say certain things you don't say in public but you like talk among yourself. But don't do it in front of somebody, you know, a stranger, but they might, you know, bring out something to embarrass you about it. You know, you know, keep your secret things, your private things within your, your, your family or your close associates that, you know, you plan to do this or whatever, you know. Don't, okay. you know, sh the show in front of, you know, a stranger, like, 
an ordinary person, they may, you know, bring something out and embarrass it, whatever. 